Yeah, the idea with the sprint is to test an idea quickly. We want to take something that a team might usually spend weeks or months on and compress it down into just five days. In a sprint, you get a team of about six or seven people, clear the schedule for a week, and then you follow this checklist. On the first day on Monday, the team will make a map of the problem and choose one target. On Tuesday, every person on the team comes up with their own solution to the problem. On Wednesday, you've got those competing solutions go through a decision process to come up with. On Thursday, the team makes a prototype, and it's a realistic prototype that appears to be a, a working product or service. And on Friday, the team will, uh, will test it with their target customers. So they bring in five customers, one at a time, show them the prototype, and then see what happens. By the end of the week, the team has clarity about what to do next. Well, there's, I guess there's a couple of reasons that are, I think, really important. <laughs> maybe a couple centuries, we've just changed the world. It's just crazy how much we've changed it. And this idea of having a screen that has information on it and trying to keep track of that in our brains is brand new and our brains can't totally handle all that stuff. So when you shift everything from the screen to paper, it just works a lot better with our brains. So when you have it up on the whiteboards and you have it on paper, that just, it just works better for people. It makes the whole thing easier for, for the human brain to, to handle. Paper is a, a big equalizer. Anything that we made on screen, anything that we, if we were locking up ideas on a computer, there'd be some people who'd be really good at that because they'd have the technical expertise. And there'd be others who couldn't do it because they hadn't learned that software. And so by keeping it on paper, really pretty much everyone can do the same work. We think often that we can multitask, that we can keep track of our email, that we can keep up to date on you know, Twitter, Facebook, or whatever, and that we can also have a really rich conversation, solve a problem in a deep way. But it's just not true. And so by shutting those devices and getting them out of the room, the, the amount of brain power everyone can bring to the problem goes way up, the quality of the conversations goes up, everybody knows they're all in. And it, afterwards I have people tell me like, oh my gosh, we were able to get you know, months worth of work done in such a short period of time because we weren't distracted. And, you know, we, we usually say like, okay, we got a room with a table, we got chairs around it, but we're going to come into this room for 30 minutes or 60 minutes and then we're going to, something good is going to happen. So the idea with the sprint, which is actually really just one really big meeting, <laughs> is to have, is to, to clear away all of the, the garbage meetings off the calendar. Have one big one that's actually structured. So teams don't have to improvise when they get in the room. And they do have the time to focus on that one thing that's really important. The most important thing about prototypes is this mindset of we're going to make something real and then we're going to be okay with throwing it away. Me and the team would get attached to an idea the more time we spend. The idea with the prototype is you spend a little amount of time and then you start to test it, you start to find out not just what you think about it, but what people, your customers think about it. And you do that with the feeling, we'll throw it away if it doesn't work. And that gives you one, many more chances 